Today's gospel involves two women, and they are in dire need of help. Actually, they need miracles to better their lives. First, we have the daughter of Jairus. She is only 12 years old and on the cusp of young womanhood. She is very sick and near death. Then we have the unnamed woman who has been bleeding for 12 years with a severe hemorrhage. The situations of both of these women involve fertility. The young woman was just beginning her ability to reproduce life, and the older woman longs to end it. Jesus does not heal these women through magic. The healings are the result of faith. The recipients of these glorious healings were considered to be second-class citizens. The older woman, especially, experienced a situation that made her unclean due to a life that was nothing less than hell. Her society would have believed her to be cursed. It was courageous beyond words for this hemorrhaging woman to move through a crowd. In the Roman Empire of Jesus' day, women had little or no rights. Both Roman and Jewish societies were extremely patriarchal. It was not unheard of for newborn baby girls to be thrown into a local dump by a distressed father who wanted a son. In our own time, countless female babies have been aborted in China as spouses may only give birth to one child. The next generation of Chinese may be 60% male. Jesus lived a radical approach to women for his time. In his eyes, they were equal to men. As Paul would write later, in Christ there is neither male nor female. Jesus believed it and lived it. Do we?